Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will be talking about the overview of crop genetic engineering. There are five main steps in the process of a crop genetic engineering. These steps are basically the same for all genetically modified plants. First step is the extraction of the DNA. Then the second step is the clone of a single gene of interest. Third is the designing the gene to, to be inserted inside the, plasmi, uh, inside the plant. Then the transformation of that gene in, inside the plant cell. Then the back cross breeding uh, several times to finally generate the plant of our desire. Early organisms has a mo molecule called DNA in every cell that holds the information for how to produce all the proteins that organism will need during its entire life. All the DNA extracted out of an organism that has the desired trait. The single gene that codes for a desired protein must be located and copied out of the DNA extracted from the organism cell. Once the gene of interest has been cloned, genetic engineers modify it to express in a specific way when they inside the plant. The enzyme are used to cut the gene apart. Then one or more of these three gene regions can be then replaced or modified. Now three gene regions, uh, one of them are promoter, another is the coding region and another is the stop or regulatory region. The gene regions are bonded back together and functions as a normal gene. Since the DNA has been cut apart and put back together in a new recombination, it is called a recombinant DNA. After gene modification, the new gene is inserted into a single plant cell using one of the transformation methods such as gene gun or via the vector agrobacterium tumefaciens. The transgene must land in the cell's nucleus and be incorporated into one of these chromosomes. This en enables it to be expressed and passed on to the offspring. Plant cells are totiopotent, meaning a single cell from any part of the plant can divide and multiply into another complete cell plant. Every time the cell replicates and divides, all these chromosomes are copied, including the new gene. The result is a transgenic plant with a new gene in every one on its cells. Back cross breeding is then used to move the transgenes into the high yielding elite line and the resulting hybrids are tested and evaluated for release. The final result is high yielding transgenic hybrid or variety that expresses a new trait but of millions of cells that undergo the transformation process only one or two may lead to a marketable hybrid. For that we need to make sure that the right selection is happening and we need to go several round of crossbreeding and select the perfect trait for marketing.